it is Monday, my dudes. And that shit got me like, ha! Whoa, hello, motherfuckers! What is going on, guys? It is the Crazy Gabano back at it again with another video, and welcome to the 73rd episode of what? You got more games? It is very really early in the morning. I just woke up. But I got a lot of stuff to cover for this month. I picked up a whole bunch of good stuff. Got some fellow leads from some great friends. Also got some great stuff from great friends. And I got a whole bunch of it, so let's get started. Now, I only picked up two Amiibos for this month, basically because these Amiibos have luckily gotten a lot easier to collect, so I don't have to worry about rushing out to get these. I can kind of take my time and not having to worry, knowing that I can pick them up at a later time. But for now, I picked up Splatoon, Calorie Marie, the news reporter sisters. And I picked up the alternate versions of the Inkling Boy, Girl, and Squid. I got these two at RC Willie. Had a little $10 coupon that I got, so I pretty much saved about five bucks each. So that was very nice. A big thank you to Roll and Melissa from Seek Find Play. They actually hit me up about some World of Nintendo figures that they just found out about and these are some of the new ones that just released and they picked them up for me I went ahead and paid them back so thank you guys so much check out their channel links gonna be in the bottom below and what I got from them I got a chain chomp two inch figure and everything else are the new four inch figures that came out so we got Zelda we got Slippy Toad let's see what else we got a red toad and apparently there was a blue one so I gotta still gotta find that one we got Skull Kid, and we got Cat Mario, and that was very nice of them to go out of their way and pick these up for me. And the only thing I can say about that is, uh, <laughs> somebody's going to be getting some good shit for Christmas, I'll tell you that much. Alrighty then, moving on to the Pops. Now, I kind of got these kind of separated from where I bought them, and I'm going to tell you guys all about that, but... Another shout out to Roll and Melissa because they hooked me up with some more pops for the collection. Now they're really big into pops, so if you like pops, check out their channel. And they're kind of getting me into collecting that shit too, so I good looking out. So, thank you to Melissa for hooking me up with this very nice, ooh wow, Walgreens exclusive Ray Pop. So we got that. Big shout out to Rolando for hooking me up with the yellow and black ranger. So we got those two from him. So thank you very much, sir. Greatly appreciate that. So those are the ones from Friends. Next up, the ones over here are from Hot Topic, as you can see right there, Hot Topic exclusive. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. I don't know why he has such a long name, but hey, he's a Hot Topic exclusive, so we'll leave it at that. So I recently hit that place up again some other time. And uh, they had to buy one, get one 30% off, so I definitely took advantage of that. I got some Mega Man ones right here. We got Rush. We got that Proto Man. We got some wrestling ones right here. You know I'm a wrestling fan. We got Bret Hart. And we got Kevin Owens. Two very nice Canadian wrestlers. Hey. And a big shout out to my friend Joe. Nam Joe. Because he hooked me up. Uh, we, got a, we had a trade going on. I bought him something from Walgreens which is like a, kind of like a Batman toy and he hooked me up with this one right here which is the original Mega Man so thank you sir another thank you to Melissa for notifying me about a very awesome toy store in town which is called Brad's Toys and Collectibles so I went ahead and stopped by and I was very happy with the service the staff, the prices, selection, all that good stuff so this is what I got from there we got the blue Power Ranger we got Snoopy and Woodstock we got Pop Pets. This is a new line that came out, and this is the Beagle. I mainly bought this just to remember my dog, my dog uh, Kiki, which was actually a Beagle. Unfortunately, she passed away a couple years ago, so this is a very special pop for me to kind of remember her and kind of commemorate her memory, so very happy to get this one. We got Super Saiyan Goku. Not Super Saiyan God, just a regular Goku. Don't get it twisted. And, and... I don't know why he's a Pop Asia exclusive. Don't they not know that Street Fighter is popular here in the United States? Or pretty much everywhere. So we got Ryu. We got the Ryu Pop. This one was a little more pricey than the other ones. But other than that, still got a great deal. And thank you to the guys at Brad's Toys and Collectibles for the very nice stuff. 
I definitely have to go back to that store, that's for sure. I recently hit up some Toys R Us stores because they had some exclusives for Teen Titans Go. So I went ahead and picked up Robin, and I got Raven. I'm only needing Starfire, that's the only one I need out of the three. So hopefully I can find her with little to no issues. And I recently made a pre-order not too long ago, well actually a little while ago, at GameStop for some Mega Man Pops. And they had two exclusives there, and this is what I got. We got Mega Man Firestorm, only at GameStop. And Ice Slasher Mega Man, only at GameStop. That's a lot of motherfucking pops, dang it. Well, that was a lot of pops, but we're finally done with the pops. Now moving on to the best part, the games, right? Am I right? I mean, I don't know. I also want to give a thank you to Rolando for notifying me about a guy on Instagram who actually sells homebrews, repo, and hack games. And he normally gives great prices. And I, what I like about these ones, the quality is really, really good. And the carts come in a different variety of colors, which, you know, I'm really digging. And I'm starting to think, hey, I should kind of replace the old ones I have with these new style carts. And so one of the ones that I got that I really wanted to check out was Undercover Cops, which is a pretty cool beat-em-up that originally only came out in Japan and never got a U.S. release. And so I finally got one, and it's actually in a blue cart. I recently did a trade with a gentleman named Jeff Olstam, which I normally sold some stuff to him before, but we did a little trade. I sent him some extra Neo Geo City games that I had, and he sent me ones that I needed. So first off, we got Ragi which is a very awesome platforming game. One of the first platforming games that came out on the Neo Geo. One similar to Ragi is Magician Lord, a very classic platforming game. Also, I think it's the first one that ever came out on the Neo. And the last one, I'm very happy to have this one because I don't have this game on any platform on the Neo Geo. I don't have it on AES, I don't have it on MVS, but I finally got it on CD, so that is Last Resort, which is a very nice shmup for the game, uh, system, so very awesome to have that. Got a few items from Retro City Games, number one place to buy, sell, and trade here in the Las Vegas area. So I got some games from them. The first one I got right here, which I didn't know this came out in Japan. I didn't know uh, this movie was big in Japan, but I guess it is. And we got it for the Mega Drive, and that is Disney's Aladdin. Very happy to get this complete in box. Looks great. So we pick that up. We also picked up Personal 4, or no, Persona 4 Arena. It was only five bucks, so I said, hey, fuck it. Why not check it out? And now these three games right here. Big thank you to Doug from Rush City Games for notifying me about these uh, recent grabs. The first one I got right here is Hotko no Ken, which is this of the North Star. I really like this game. This style and the gameplay kind of reminds me of Guilty Gear, if you're a big fan of that series. Definitely check this game out. It's very, very good. Next up is Melty Blood at Cadenza, which is a very awkward fighting game. Awkward, I say, in the reason of the characters. A lot of the characters are female. and I mean, I'm not so, you know, it's not too bad about that, but it, a lot of them kind of look possessed and like, demonize and stuff like that. It, I don't know, it's, it's kind of weird. Like, it's a very dark fighting game, but I mean, it's pretty cool. I like it. Not bad. And the next one right here is Fate Unlimited Code, which is a pretty cool uh, weaponary fighting game, which all the characters use swords and different weapons. It's very, very good. Very happy to get that. And this last little item I got right here, which was a very nice item for me to grab because I'm kind of collecting these and I love collecting arcade style fighting sticks and I got this very nice universal one made by Pelican and that is the Real Arcade Universal. This thing is fucking Look at that shit. So we got that and what's cool about it is that it actually works with the PS2, Xbox, and GameCube. So it's kind of like a three-in-one um, universal arcade stick which is very very nice and I mean for 20 bucks how the hell could you say no to that so we got that big thank you to Retro City Games last few items I got right here was a, from a very special uh, package from a very nice guy Mike Bronza from the Retro G Pong group so I really really want to thank you so much for hooking me up with all these awesome games and I actually just opened it up um, just this morning so we got that 
so big thank you um, he hit me up recently say like, hey I got some games I kind of want to unload do you want them and I was like hey I'll take them hey you know especially if they're imports fuck yeah so he didn't have to do it but from the kindness of his heart he sent it to me I went ahead and paid him back but once again dude you didn't have to do this so I really appreciate all the stuff you sent me so the first stuff I got right here the first item is a Sega Saturn disc only of X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Classic fighting game. Next up is a disc and manual only of Virtual On Cyber Trooper. Next up, I didn't have, I thought I had this game, but turns out I did, I have the prequel, <laughs> which is very good. And this is Vampire Savior, which I believe this is Darkstalkers 3 here in the US. I believe this is the third one, because it comes with that Alice character and that B girl. So I think this is the third one, I believe. I hope so. <laughs> and these next three games, holy shit. Let me show you guys. King of Fighters 11. Look at that shit. It's complete. Everything's in there. The disc looks awesome. Got that. Very nice. Next up was the game that I've been actually on the hunt for. And that is King of Fighters 2002 Unlimited Match. Got that as well. Which is kind of weird because the side label is in English. This one as well. You know, for the most part they're all in Japanese, but these two are in English just in case if, uh, you can't find that game on your shelf. You know it from right there. So we got this last game right here, which is a very, very awesome game. It's another one I've been on the hunt for, and I finally got it. And that is Samurai Spirits 6. You have that right there. And this one's actually in Japanese. So this one's complete in box. I mean, check out the tits, bruh. Check out the tits. Oh, yeah. All right, so thank you once again to Mike Bronza for the very awesome stuff. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much once again. So that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. And if you did like what you saw, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Do that shit real quick. And thank you to Roland Melissa for everything that you do and for hooking me up with all the awesome stuff that you did. Really appreciate it. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.